Hey everybody, how's it going? Do a little tutorial for you to see them. Building uh, face rig controllers. Um, seeing a few guys doing this online. A lot of people wondering how it's done. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of insight. Just makes it pretty, um, makes it a little easier. You don't have to mess with all the little individual smart bones, but you can just grab this bone here. If you watch your eyes, moves up and down side to side as I move it in this circle. And then this guy moves the whole head right here, side to side. And as we go around, we can make her head do it all the way around. Just like that. So I'm gonna show you how to make that right now. So the way I like to do it, this is just my personal preference. All right, you can do it your way, but the way I like to do it is I create all the smartphone actions on smartphones already. Uh, it is one more step, but to me, it was just a little easier than trying to make all of that happen in one shot. So I create all these smartphones, and then when we go to set up this next part, it's gonna be much easier. So we're gonna create a new vector layer we're gonna throw it uh, into our bones, we'll drag it all the way down the bottom just so it's out of the way. We'll grab on our shape tool. We'll hold shift as we're dragging it out. Let's get a cool color here. Let's make it blue. Like that. All right, let's, uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. You can do this however big you wanna do it. All right, uh, let's put a stroke on it just for stroke's sake, right? Make that a little bit bigger just so you can see the borders there all right so we're gonna make this shape here uh, right inside and then what we're gonna do come back up to our bone layer here and then we're gonna add a couple of bones all right alt clicking the uh, screen just to make sure that there's no bones pre-selected so it's not a child of anything and you're just gonna drag up here and then come off to the side, alt clicking and drag one here. Go to the bone strength, take that off right over here is your bone strength tool. And so you got these two bones here. So let's set some constraints on it. Go up here, bone constraints, angle constraints. Let's go 30, 30. Seem to be my magic numbers here. All right. And then let's go this guy, 30, 30. Gotta go negative 30. All right, so that's our two bones set up right here in the middle. And then what we wanna do is we wanna uh, set these guys up with actions, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to, let's label them first here. Let's call that guy, uh, we'll call it C for controller, and then we'll go side, side, just like that, all right? It's gonna be the bone name there. And then we'll go C for controller, up down you D right good <laughs> right there all right so let's grab these bones right here we'll come up to our actions panel we'll hit this action right here and could one right there all right we'll come out to 48 and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our uh, transform bone tool come to this bone we're gonna drag it and as you see it does not go past the bottom of this circle and that's a key you want to make sure it does not go past the bottom of that circle when you do that all right so this is the uh wait what were we doing could one so this is going to be down we'll go down with it so we're going to come here i already have the look up and down buttons and i'll just move that bone there all right so now Watch both these bones. This bone is now controlling this bone. I already had that set up. So now it's just making it go up and down. All right, easy as that. So now we're just gonna keep going. Click on the main line here. We're gonna click on another one. Wait, cancel. Click on that bone. Come on. Ready, could two. Come out to 48, right? Transform bone go up with it and then right here we're gonna match it and go up right there so now this bone controls this bone and that's all we're doing with this all right let's come back up here 
main line. Let's come back to our phones. Let's go. This is going to be side to side. So let's click on an action. Let's grab this. Just make sure it coincides with the movement. Head goes side to side. And there we go. The head side to side. So that one's set. Let's come back up to the main line right here. Click on this bone again. Action. Head side to side two. Come out to 48, just like that. Come to our transform bone, move it over, and then the head's going the other direction. Now that's all set. So we come out to our main line right here. What we want to do is we want to grab our uh, add bone tool, alt click, making sure nothing's in there. All right, and we're going to click it right there somewhere in the middle. Control Z, that's not even close. Control Z. Control Z. Come on. Ah. My, my tablet's off, so it's a guess again. We'll just go with it right there, all right? We'll take all the bone strength off of that guy right there. What we'll do is we will actually come in. We will color this guy a nice yellow so it stands out in the middle right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy, all right? We will call it uh, face target. Okay, and so we will grab this bone right here and we will tell him in the bone constraints target, let's look at the face target and we'll close that guy up right there. This guy right here will come in, same thing, target, let's look at the face target, close it up. So now when we come in and we move this face target, there we go, we got a pretty controller. So the magic comes in and you select that guy, control select that guy. You can select this guy, this guy, and you come up to bones and you hide selected bones. Now, when you just move this around, it looks like magic. <laughs> so anyway, guys. That's how you set up a fancy controller. You can do it with eyes. You can do it with anything you want. You just got bones controlling bones. And that's how we do it right there. Hey, I want to thank everybody for supporting me, uh, buying courses, you know, getting it together, helping me out, buying hand packs, all that kind of stuff. That's been awesome. I so appreciate that. Supporting the channel, giving me likes, um, subscribing. Appreciate all you guys doing all that kind of stuff. We got some neat stuff I'm working on that I'll be uh, showing you guys in the near future. So I appreciate it. Hope you uh, learned something tonight. If you did, give me a like. All right. We got this face controller going on right here. You can have hours of fun just making the head go crazy. Uh, and to animate, of course, we just come to frame one. We click on the bone, move it. She's out there. We want her to look back over here. And then come back to the middle that easy we got the head moving now just like that so hope you learned something thanks for joining me you guys have a great evening day whatever time you're watching next year have a good one see you bye